Introduction If we raise a body above the ground and objectives, at the end of this lesson you'll be able to define force of gravitation, define universal law of gravitation, understand the meaning of free fall, distinguish between weight and mass, understand thrust and pressure, Understand the Archimedes principle, force of gravitation, universal law of gravitation. Everybody in the unit and value of gravitational constant. By arranging the free fall, difference between weight and mass. Mass. The mass of the body is the quantity of matter contained in it. The mass of the body is constant and does not change from place to place. It is denoted by small m. Mass of the body is a measure of inertia of the body. Mass cannot be zero. Weight the weight of the body is the force with which it is attracted towards the center of the earth. The weight of the body depends upon the mass of the body and acceleration due to gravity at that place. Weight is Newton. One kilogram weight is that gravitational force which acts on a body of mass one kilogram. Weight is not constant. The weight can be zero at the center of the earth. Equation of motion for freely falling bodies. The th uses of pressure in everyday life. The school bags have white stripes because the weight will fall over large area and will reduce its pressures on the shoulders. The tip of the needle is sharp because it will put the force on a very small area of the cloth and producing enough pressure to pierce the cloth being stitched. Pressure on ground is more when a man is walking than when he is standing because when he is walking the weight of man falls on smaller area and it increases the pressure and when he is standing the area is large and it produces less pressure. Buoyancy Archimedes principle. When an object is wholly or partially immersed in a liquid, it experiences a buoyant force which is equal to the weight of liquid displaced by the... Did you know? Newton's law of gravitation helps us to find the mass of the earth accurately. Newton's summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. The force of... 